Well, families up in the Four Corners region uh, really appreciate it. I know so many of them have kind of connected with us here in the Valley. And, uh, well, of course, restaurants are open right now. That is a good thing, Tom Fergus. You were out and about. Uh, I think I may have said it earlier that they were kind of grouped in with bars, but they are not. My apologies. Restaurants are absolutely open. You can head on in, call it in, uh, which is such good news for all of our small business owners. Tom Fergus is live with Taste of the Town this morning. And, uh, Tom, you are living it up today. First at the resort, and now you're (laughs) grabbing breakfast? Winning. Yeah, Celeste, this place is all you, Celeste. You will love this place. Yeah, we're at Seoul Mexican Casino. They've got four across the country, and they've got this beautiful patio. And as you wake your way in, the one thing that I really like about this is when you walk in, they have this little board, and it tells you everything they're doing to try and keep you safe. So they're, they're retraining their team members and reducing capacity, and they have enhanced team member screening and personal protective equipment and hand washing and reducing touch points and all that stuff, single-use condiments, physical distancing and all that stuff. And Kelsey Matthews is the general manager. Kelsey, how are you? Hi, welcome in. How are you doing today? So Kelsey grew up in Flagstaff, so she's down here in the heat. She worked in Denver for a little while. Give everybody a little sense of what the, the casino's about. All right, we're all about the Baja Coastal style Mexican. So we're going to have amazing street tacos. We're going to have lots of seafood along with some great carne asada, carnitas, fresh baked. Um, everything we do in house is made here. Wow. So we well, got 23 different salsas to flavor everything up. Wait a minute, wait, how many? <laughs> 23 different salsas. Holy cow, that's yeah. a bunch, man. Now, I Absolutely. know the owners that started this, they, they used to go up and down the coastal uh, beachways and yeah. sleep on the beach and go to all those little truck stop places, you know, not truck stop, but beach stop places, to get this kind of food, yep. and this is what they've created. This inspired it all. Yeah. All those taco stands, the, all those fresh proteins on a fresh baked tortilla, and then all the salsas to flavor it up to your styles, fresh squeezed limes pinch of salt, everything good. I love that you have boxes to go. Tell everybody about that, because that sounds like fun. If I don't want to come into the restaurant, I can just get it to go. Absolutely, it's something we've really had to adapt to to make a great to-go program. Um, All of our menu is available to go right now. So we're doing lots of different curbside pickup delivery items. Um, we got fresh tacos. We got our salad. Take a look at these tacos before we move on. Come on, Kelsey. Holy cow. <laughs> these are those our sweet fantastic. potato black bean tacos, our most what? popular vegetarian taco, and that flavor is out of this world. Vegetarians are going to do backflips to get in here. And then what do you have it's here? Fabulous. This is going to be our Mexican chopped salad. Um, one of our most traditional salads is going to have some cactus nepales. It's going to be more of your taco salad, but our Baja twist. And I recognize this one. It is beautiful. Smothered burrito. Can't go wrong with a good burrito when you're hungry, right? <laughs> That's great, Kelsey. Now, you guys have happy hour throughout the restaurant. As you look around, you're, you're social distancing as well. You're yes, we having some tables that people can't sit at, right? Absolutely. What time does happy hour start? Happy hour starts at 3. Very three cool. 3 to 6. 3 to 6, yep. and it's throughout the restaurant. And you open at 11. Yes. All right, very good. So, Celeste, we've got to get down here for a little lunch at 11. Coming up on our next hit, That's Chef right. Ernesto is going to uh, show me how to make some guacamole, some naked guacamole. So, <gasps> that ought to be pretty fun. Uh, wait, you said naked guacamole? <laughs> yeah. What is that? Naked guacamole. <laughs> well, I don't know. Everybody likes okay. to be naked, so we're going to try naked guacamole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Taste of the town, here we go. And anything that Tom Fergus endorses, it is a huge winner because food is flying (laughs) off the shelves. Tom, I don't think I told you, at A Burrito last week, they ran out of food when you were live there. Oh, did you run over to A Burrito? Oh, that's so great to hear that. You know, that happened at another burrito place, Rita's Burritos in Chandler. We had made mention of it, and next thing you know, the, the owner uh, texted me and said, hey, Tom, we ran out of food, which is what we want. We would love it. But yeah, so we're at Seoul Mexican Casino, and one of the things that they have that they have a lot of is this tequila. They have a lot of different tequilas, but there are a lot of fancy schmancies. But I'm with Chef Ernesto Lopez. He's a Trevor Brown guy. Yeah, he grew up uh, going to Trevor Brown. Uh-huh. Ernesto, great to have you. And of course, I've got Kelsey Matthews with me, who's also the GM. All right, we're making uh, naked guacamole. Before I talk to you about that, Kelsey, explain to us why it's naked and how you have other guacamoles Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. This is going to be our most basic guacamole. It's going to have all the same fresh flavors, still made to order every day. Um, it's still going to have lime. It's going to have salt. It's going to have the serranos. Um, we have two other guacamoles. There's going to be a guacamole sole that has mango and goat cheese and tequila, as well as pepitas, as well as a granada guacamole that's going to have pomegranate and apples. 
So if you're feeling like spicing it up a little, those are great options as well. Very cool. Okay, Chef Ernesto, let's go ahead and start putting stuff in. You want me to start uh, pinching yeah. some things uh, in here? Yeah, I'll do the guacamole part. Right. If you want to add some ingredients. Yeah, so, and are we throwing so a whole thing in there? It's to your liking. So all right, well, I like, like tomatoes, tomatoes so let's go with there. all of those. And I like the crunchy red onions. Those oh, are yeah. beautiful. I like those as yeah, well. That has a little cilantro going on here. Yeah, it sure does. And then a little extra cilantro in there. Yeah. That's Add that freshness now, to I it as well. I go a little well. easy on that cilantro. Oh, okay. Now, are we talking jalapenos here? Those are serrano, so they're going to have a little bit more heat than jalapenos. Okay, jalapeno, so, so with me, Ernesto, growing up in Chicago, oh. I'll add about that much. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, I'm such hey, a whip. it's to your liking, man. And, so. of course, you can't put salt in just like that. you got to kind of bring it from of top, don't you? Do. you? Of course you there do. There we go. Yeah, so now we got that it. going. So we're just going to kind of move mash it up there, mix I love it together. That. Kelsey, um, tell me about the salsas. You were saying, how many salsas do you guys have? We have over 23 salsas. Wow. Everything takes its own flavoring. Yeah. Great and, and your entire menu is online, so if people want to get it to go, they can pick it up in a box and get it yeah, to go, Yeah, right? absolutely. They're welcome to call in orders. We're partnered with DoorDash as well as our online ordering system. Ernesto, I saw your burrito over here. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. What are some of the hot sellers that you're uh, throwing out of the kitchen these days? Uh, definitely tacos. We have uh, our specialty tacos that are super popular. Um, they range in different proteins and actually a lot of different vegetarian options as well. Yeah, So nowadays nice. you really got to be health cautious. So um, now you grew up in, in Arizona, but you love this this California stuff, don't you? Of course, the freshness of it, um, you can't beat it, you know? We, we, yeah. we definitely love that, and the flavors, it just takes so many different aspects of the culinary world, so. I love it, yeah. Soul Mexican Casino, you guys, thanks so much for having okay, us. Thank you. I would eat this through the mask, but it would make a mess, but oh. yeah, there you go. They, they open at 11 today, again, we're at the Scottsdale Quarter. A lot of good food here, you guys, swing by. Taste of the town at Soul Mexican Casino. Looks great. Ooh.